The long bayside sidewalk on San Diego's Harbor Island Drive is a favorite for locals and tourists. It's also close to the region's only artificial tide pools. We need to be thinking about sea level rise right now. Port of San Diego Commissioner Rafael Castellano says the interlocking concrete blocks at the base of the island's armored riprap seawall create an extra buffer against rising sea levels. This technology obviously benefits the port because we can start to create living shorelines, which will help accommodate sea level rise, that will help armor our coastline with non-traditional technology, not just riprap, but now using technology that will enhance our ecosystems along the bay. Over the next few months, Castellano says sea life in the bay should start to move into the new tide pools and set up house. You'll get algae, you'll get seagrass, you'll get barnacles, sea anemones, among other forms of marine life, and that all will serve to sort of gel uh, a biosphere, if you will, over this um, artificial tidal pool system. In addition to the sea life, the tide pools make the rocky concrete barrier along Harbor Island a few feet wider. We are protecting against coastal flooding and we're also making for a greener, uh, more productive uh, ecosystem here at the Port of San Diego. The Port of San Diego is investing $200,000 in e-concrete, the Israeli company that developed the idea. If the company builds other projects in California, the port could more than double its investment. It's part of the port's effort to encourage businesses in the port's blue economy incubator. In the end, you're adding infrastructure into the water. Ido Sela is a co-founder of eConcrete, and he's working on the coastal lock tide pool armor. Why not harnessing your existing infrastructure to provide similar ecosystem services and save this uh, um, effort of putting in extra structures in the water? Sella says the 7,700-pound concrete blocks interlock to give the structure stability, but he says the key to the project is how the concrete is mixed. Unlike commercial or industrial concrete, this mixture contains ingredients that are plant and animal friendly, what Sella calls salt and pepper. That modify the concrete in a way that you become a better substrate for the a balanced biology to grow on. I know there's more sustainable types of concrete that don't have as many additives, dyes, lye, things of that nature that can seep out over time. Corey Puccini is a conservationist working with Wild Coast to preserve the coast's unique assets. He welcomes the addition of the artificial tide pools because the natural habitats are under fire from climate change. And he's optimistic the ocean species will find the new habitats welcoming. Yeah, and actually a lot of marine life that lives in that tide pool or that coastal zone is highly adaptable. I mean, they already have to, and when I say they, I mean the, the species that, that live in tide pool ecosystems, they have to adapt daily to rising and falling tides, fluctuating currents, temperatures, storms, incursion of fresh water. So they're highly adaptable species. Port officials will check in on the project every six months to measure progress. And if this project does work, if it does take hold here in San Diego, there's a pretty good chance that you'll probably see the technology deployed elsewhere. Could be in California, could be any place around the world where there's a manufactured shoreline. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.